Uh, dear, oh dear. Uh. Sorry for that close up. Uh, you know, it's for me personally. It's sometimes I think it's clear I have found the worst WWE pay per view ever that ever existed. Isn't that right, Dougal? Is WrestleMania Nine the worst pay per view that ever existed? No, that shows wrestling, right, Dougal? That shows are wrestling, isn't it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Anywho, uh, yeah, I'm going to rank every single match. Mm. I had to watch the worst, and yes, I think it's clear I found the worst WWE pay-per-view that ever existed. And yes, it is worse than the December to this member. So yeah, I'm going to rank the pay-per-view, I guess. So let's get right into it. Okay. Now again, I don't do the free show. Alright, I just don't. <clears throat> so yeah. So sorry, Tito Santana and Papa Shango. I'm sorry, guys. That's it. Alright, uh... Oh dear, well... When I watched Tatanka, when I watched Tatanka versus Shawn Michaels, I thought, well, it's going to be terrible, isn't it? And I realized that this was a Shawn Michaels match at WrestleMania. So I was like, well, how could this not be brilliant? You know, how could this not be brilliant? <sighs> well, it was terrible. No, but seriously, it was terrible. I mean, it's amazing because this is trivial in comparison to what happens tonight. In that, in that very night or day, whatever. <sighs> yep. Here we go. This one gets one and a half stars. I cannot give this even two stars. Alright. Hey, I'm not even gonna give it one and a half. I'm gonna get it one point two five. Alright. All you need to know is Shawn Michaels lost by count out. I'm not doing this because of bias. I'm doing this because it's terrible. Cool. Uh the Steiner brothers faced it off against the head shrinkers. Uh I I mean, come on, what what do you do? Obviously, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, actually, uh, I mean, by rest, by WrestleMania, by this WrestleMania standards, I call it the second best match of the night. So, and yeah, it is better than uh, Razor Ramon and Bob Backlund, obviously. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with about two two and two quarters. All right. Alright, I'm going with that. Do I get the clown and crush? I, I don't know this one. I actually don't. I mean, you had the... Uh, do I get the clown versus crush was over the IC title match. Oh dear, well... I'm going to give this one... 0.5 stars. You heard me right? Let me throw a double. Okay. I'm giving that 0.5 stars. Just because of the ending. A little doink comes out. They end up. They ends up costing doink the victory. Or ends up costing Crush the victory. And I swear, they're like bugging out their eyes and just. Uh, Look, I know that I know that this that the that the nineties of this time until the as era was cartoony, but sheesh. This shouldn't this should not exist, WWE. <laughs> it look, it makes Barney the dinosaur look like like it's world annihilistic by comparison. Alright. Uh Razor Ramon versus Bob Backlund. 
I mean, do you really, I mean, seriously, do you really want to make a, do you really want to make Bob Backlund? Is a Bob Backlund match going to be five stars? No, it's not. Uh, it's not. It just isn't. It's common sense. So, so, oh, well. Obviously, it's going to be, um, it's obviously going to be, I wouldn't, it's not the best match of the night, but I'm going to give it about, I'm going to give it two stars. Again, I'll give it two stars. Oops. I mean, I, it's, the match is bad, yeah. Anyway, no. Yeah, the match is bad, but hey, for a Bob Backlund match in the 90s, it was okay. Trust me. Let's go with the next one. Oh, no. No. Please, no. Sheesh, this already! Uh, no, it's not the one you're thinking of, I promise, okay? It's Money, Inc., Versus the Mega Powers. What happens during this match? Here's what happens. Um, they accidentally knock out the ref. Hogan hits a leg drop. Jimmy Hart puts the referee shirt on and goes, One, two, three. And it's like, Yay, we won the titles! Hooray! And then it's like, No, you didn't win the titles, you idiots. And it's like, y Yeah, no crap, Sherlock. I mean, come on. Uh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we're gonna do Lex Luger versus Mr. Perfect. Now, this is when Lex Luger was known as the Narcissist. Again, pretty terrible. I'm gonna give it, like, one star at tops, alright? I can't rate it any higher, alright? I just can't. What's the next one? Oh, no. No. Please, no. Please. Please, no. Sheesh, this already. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, might I say... This is probably the first time I'm doing this in this series. Uh, Undertaker versus Giant Gonzalez. Sometimes I just want to feel like I want to fly away with bad pit away from bad pit reads like this. I just do. I'm gonna give this one. I can't give this any higher. Zero stars. Okay. Now, the last match I'm going to do is Yokozuna versus Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah, it's not the last match of the night. No, the last part was a joke, I promise. So, what happens now, honestly, Yokozuna versus Bret Hart was the, was the match of the night, obviously. It would have been a lot better than it was if it was the main event of WrestleMania. I'll get into that in a minute. Honestly, I'll give it three stars, right? It, it was a good match for a Yokozuna WrestleMania match, even though their match WrestleMania 10 was better, but there you were. But, what was, the, what was the next match again? Let's see. You should probably know this already, but... I'm gonna need the Obi-Wan no again. We're gonna need that again. That's what I do, okay? Uh, Hulk Hogan versus Yokozuna. <sighs> Welcome to Backstage Politics to Pay Per View. That's what it should be called. So, at WrestleMania 9, it should be called Backstage Politics to Pay Per View. Hogan beat Yokozuna in 22 seconds because it's like, because he. Because ch Yokozuna challenged him for some reason. And Hogan won the title for some reason. Politics! Zero stars! Uh, uh.